Boom! What's going on, everybody? I'm Logan from the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, opening up the warehouse on another episode of Toy Talk. I've got another fleet truck today. This time it's a DCP by First Gear, Kenworth T680 for Minke Trucking from Leavenworth, Indiana. Any of you ever heard of Minke Trucking? Minke Trucking was founded in 2007 with just one truck and one driver by the current CEO, Craig Minke. Minke hauled stone and aggregate materials for a local quarry. By 2010, Minke Trucking had purchased additional trucks and began the transition from local dump trucking to over the road trucking. In 2012, Minke acquired their current terminal in Leavenworth, Indiana. And today they have a growing fleet of over 50 trucks and 90 trailers. Minkey Trucking's fleet tr of tractors is composed of Kenworth T680s for driver comfort, fuel lease savings, and productivity. Diecast Promotions, they made the toolings and DCP by First Gear, they released the Minkey Trucking version. Shop Diecast Promotions trucks with the link in the description below at farmtoysandmore.com and it means so much to me if you would go on and hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. This is the DCP by First Gear Kenworth T680 with Wabash dry van trailer, a 50 foot, three foot dry van trailer for Minkey Trucking of Leavenworth, Indiana. A relatively new company, as I talked about earlier, but boy, do they take pride in their fleet. Even though they're fleet trucks, they take good care. They chose great trucks to go with. And it is item number 60-0855, a license by Kenworth T680 and a license by Wabash Duraplate Dry Van Trailer. And it is in the standard DCP by First Gear Box, which was the holdover from DCP days when it was die-cast promotions. It comes in that box. It's got the mural back and the two-piece blister that holds the truck. Normally, they're taped together, but I've already gone and cut that tape for it, simplicity's sake. And then there's that mural. And also, like from the die-cast promotions days, it comes with an extra set of driver's door mirrors and passenger door mirrors. That way, if one gets broken, you're okay. No problem. You got another one. And we'll take the lid off. We'll get the trailer and the truck out so I can get this blister out of the way. Kenworth, the world's best. That was a brilliant decision to... Uh, order those trucks and use them for his fleet. All right, let's set the tractor back a little bit so I can start off with the trailer, which is, as you all have, if you've seen any of my videos, which I recommend you go back and watch them all, please do. I always start with a trailer in my product reviews on tractor trailers. So here it is. It's the Wabash 53 foot dry van trailer, and it has the side skirts on it. Now these side skirts are die cast just like the rest of the trailer. There's not a lot of plastic parts on this, but there are a few which you would expect. It comes with the standard screw down type landing gear. And with these die cast skirts, they painted this bottom piece black to look like that rubber scuff place that, you know, they put that rubber on the bottom to when these trailers bottom out, they'll scuff there because, well, when you add those skirts, <laughs> ground clearance goes right away you can see the dot striping down the side of the trailer clearance light down here which is also a turn signal and you got your roof clearance lights up there and one down here there's the wabash tampo that has the leg label for uh, wabash who makes the trailer and then there's the minke llc leavenworth indiana logo painted right there on the side of the trailer it has soft rubber tires and 10 hole polished aluminum wheels and they're chrome plated so they really flash and they're duals not super singles also it's got just plain black mud flaps there's nothing on them 
Round to the back here, you see it has Minkey LLC, Leavenworth, Indiana, and a trailer number there on the door. It's got the Wabash Duraplate logo tampo there, DOT striping there, and down across the bottom of the bumper. The Wabash style rear bumper, which has this extra piece. And these here are a little bit thick, but they're pretty nice. You can see the door cam locks are here on the frame instead of the door, which is a Wabash thing. The actual bars and the locks along with the hinges are tampoed in silver and you can see the reflectors up there in the corners which are required. Also up top you can see the five roof clearance lights are tampoed in red. Now these doors do open up and what I've got for it is a little screwdriver here to go on and help open them up because they tend to get stuck. Now we'll go on and show you what it looks like inside. A big black empty hole, right? Well, it's got the white sides here with the Duraplate uh, steel that runs down the side, which gives it strength when you slide a pallet right down the wall. It doesn't tear up the wall. Also, it's got the wood grain floor, and it's just got a silver roof with rib detail on it. Now, how they make these trailers, the sides and the bottom are one piece, and then they put the top is pressed down into some slots into it. Now around to the passenger side of this trailer, we see the basically the same details. Minkey logo, Wabash logo, DOT striping, the beautiful chrome wheels and soft rubber tires, mud flap, and the skirts. Now, don't think of this, even though it looks like a scratch, that's actually a tampo that says uh, Wabash Aero Skirt, which is what their trademark is for these skirts, even though it does kind of look like a um, scratch. And you can mistake it for a scratch just by not glancing at the trailer and say, oh, it's scratch, but it's not. That's actually a tampo that's supposed to be there. Around to the front, you can see it has the rivet detail, Minky, and the trailer number there. Also, these front corners are chrome plated pieces, which are pretty nice. Gives a little nice flash to it. There's the Wabash Tampo, and here is the electrical and airline hookups. They're tampoed in silver, and it's a little thick, so it's not quite as defined. When that paint's thinner, those look better. Up on top, it's just got a silver painted roof. Going down underneath, really nice uh, detail. The ribs for the structure there. You can see the bottom of the landing gear. It says die cast promotions made in China cast into the body because these were originally die cast promotions toolings, not first gear toolings. It's got a date here behind the um, kingpin of 181st day of 2020. That's the date. It's just tampoed on there. That's the date this truck was made. The rear axle detail has the air brake canisters. And you can see it's got regular axle detail, suspension detail, and they do kind of have suspension in the tandems. And then you can also see the bottom of these skirts here. Now I'm going to go on and set this trailer aside. And to do that, I'm going to screw the landing gear down so that it sits up flat, just like the real ones do. A really nice feature was this landing gear design that DCP came up with. It uh, lets us have set our trailers off with them sitting up like you would normally see them parked off by themselves or with the landing gear pulled up hitched to a tractor and it would still look like the same landing gear that's pulled up let's set that trailer off see it sits just like the real ones well now let's go on and pick up that beautiful kenworth t680 tractor isn't that a gorgeous paint scheme nice copper color with black uh, skirts black fenders really nice it's got a gorgeous minky llc leavenworth indiana logo tampoed on the door also at the bottom of the door it says t680 there's a truck number up on the hood there's a little air intake grill that's a chrome painted piece it's got the kenworth ta logo tampoed on it and it's got black painted over the grill to make it look like it's a grill you can see the a marker light and the little reflectors inside the headlight housing, black fenders, the um, silver door handle that's got the black around it, and the same type of 
silver handle with black around it on the toolbox door. Also, it's got, you can see them, it's got its DOT numbers, NYT, KYT, U numbers all on that toolbox door. You can see the fuel filter, or the fuel filler cap there. It's got chrome steps, chrome ladder, chrome quarter fenders, and chrome wheels on it. The driver's and passenger's window is not there, so they're in the rolled down position. But the front window is there, and it's hard plastic along with these two windows into the sleeper. Which they're a smoked glass so that you have privacy in the sleeper. And it gets them so that they don't have to show off the sleeper detail. Inside the cab, it's got a black steering wheel, black gear shift, gray driver's and passenger seats, gray door panels, gray dashboard. Not quite sure why it has a gear shift. Standard transmission in these is an automatic in the T680. You can also see it's got a body matched uh, caps on the mirrors with black arms. Round to the front, if I can get that glare off the windshield, and you can see the gray dashboard. Up on top of the window, right above it, there is the roof clearance lights. There is no visor on this truck, which visors are kind of going by the wayside on trucks for aerodynamics. Down front, you can see a very nice rendition of the T680's grill, the individual jewel style headlights, which are molded into the fenders, which look really sharp, and that beautiful Kenworth logo tampoed right there on the grill. Also, the front bumper fascia is painted in black to go with the skirts and the fenders. Really nice paint scheme he picked up. Up on the glass, you can see the windshield wipers that are just molded into the glass and then they're tampoed. Black, along with a little black ring around the glass to make it look like it has the gasket and everything else. Over here on the passenger side, you can see the numbers on the toolbox door. You can see the windows into the sleeper. It has that extra mirror here, which points down so the driver can see what's beside him. A really nice feature, since they, especially without having the window in the door. Door handle is tampoed silver, so is the toolbox door. It also did a little silver ring around those two, which is a nice trim piece. It's got the marker light, the reflectors, chrome wheels, chrome steps, black skirts, and black fenders. And then there's that body matched cap on the mirror and the thing and the uh, black arm. Truck number is also up there on the hood. And there's another air intake grill right there. Really sharp chrome piece, Kenworth logo and black paint. Roof, there's nothing painted up on the roof, but this hood does open on these guys. Showing off the detailed MX-13 Packard engine. You can see the piping for the turbo over here up into the charge air system and up into the radiator very nice detail on the engine turn it around so you can see the other side of that engine DCP does an amazing job on their toolings they they set the standard that we all expect out of our trucks it seems like you can also see it's got a chrome ladder the T680 has one on both sides in their tooling and it's got the chrome quarter fenders Turning it around to the back here, you'll see it has black mud flaps, uh, chrome brackets to hang off of them, DOT striping, uh, backup lights, and brake lights there. Turning them up a little bit, it has a deck plate, those two reflectors, and it has grab bars on the back of the cab and right here. And also behind that uh, airlines and the pogo stick, there's two brake lights on the back of the cab. And it's got that chrome deck plate there. They did a super nice job on this truck. I know most of us like the more classic styles, but these conventionals, these newer aero style trucks, man, they sure do make up the difference by the air fuel economy, the ride, and everything else in them. Although they just don't quite have the charm. Underneath, front spring suspension. It's got front spring suspension, and it's got uh, rear suspension back here with differentials and air brake canisters. Also, you can see the drive shaft coming from the transmission to the first axle and to the second axle. 
chrome, other chrome parts. The def tank is chrome plated. Both fuel tanks are chrome plated. The pipe leading from the exhaust pipe from the engine into the muffler system is chrome. The muffler parts, which are really complicated to mess things, are chrome. And then the tailpipe with the part that kind of looks like a filter thing that hang points down is also in chrome. No stacks really saves quite a lot of weight on these trucks. Get your air tanks over here behind there and battery boxes on both sides. They did a great job and Minkey should be proud to have this model representing their fleet. Now let's go on and hook him up so you can see what she looks like all hooked together. And to do that, I'm going to have to screw up the landing gear, which is raises it. Pretty easy to do, just a couple of twists with the fingers on each side and then it's back up where you could hitch it to the truck just the way it would be running down the highways i really like this style landing gear it's very nice it doesn't look like the folded ones that Ertl used it looks very prototypical of a real one even though it does kind of give you that screw down the screw look when it's down but that's okay got to take some sacri uh some small sacrifices here and there there we go and there she is all hooked up. Oh, I forgot to mention, it has positionable steering on the front axle. Not steering, but they're positionable. They just click in place, just like that. See, you can have it turned or straight. And that is the T680 Kenworth with the 76 inch high roof condo sleeper for Minke Trucking pulling a Wabash 53 foot dry van trailer. Minke certainly is a company that takes pride in their trucks, and Diecast Promotions takes pride in their releases. Tell me, what do you think about this particular truck, and would you add it to your collection? Go on and shop for those Diecast Promotions trucks at farmtoysandmore.com. There's a link in the description down below. Also, please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button because it means so much to me to have you as a member of my YouTube family. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and I'm closing up the warehouse doors on yet another episode of Toy Talk.